Quiet on the set. I don't know what to do, do with, with my, my hands. hands. So nervous, ladies and gentlemen. This is amazing. Ma! Ma! Ready for my close up. She's, she's a natural. I already forgot what I was saying. Uh, this is terrible. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, precious. It's your face. It just ruins it for me. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, that's good. High five. Big going on. What's up, ACL Nation? It's season two of Behind the Bags. Host Trey Ryder and the creator of the ACL vlog, Miss Haley Shedd. Season one of Behind the Bags wrapped up at the 2021 ACL World Championships in August. So it's been a little while. Let's catch up on the things that you missed in the off season. The new season started on October 1st. The prize pool has doubled to $1 million, the largest it's ever been and still has room to grow. With the start of the new season came a brand new division, the Pro Development Cup. 64 players invited into the Pro Development Cup program with the hopes of eventually one day aspiring to become ACL pros. These Pro Development Cup players have the ability to compete in nationals alongside ACL pros with the same aspirations to make it on ESPN. In December, the ACL hosted its first ever team's draft. 16 team captains drafted 16 players in a traditional snake style draft and later added a handful of PDC players to their crew. ACL Pro teams will compete throughout the regular season at ACL Pro national events, with every pro team competing against every other pro team once throughout the regular season, making up a 15 game season for each pro team. Every game within the regular season will feature each team electing to put up seven doubles teams to go head-to-head -head against the seven doubles teams of the opposing team. Which every pro team wins four or more of the seven matchups, wins the head-to-head -head matchup. At the end of the season, every team's performance will then seed them into the final single elimination bracket to crown a pro team's world championship in August. In case you've been living under a rock recently or just don't have social media, we recently launched ACL Cornhole TV, which is a cornhole-only channel available on select streaming platforms. You can also watch it at www.aclcornhole.tv. Along with ACL Cornhole TV, we've launched three new shows, ACL Live, Borderline Podcast, and Around the ACL. You can also watch Girls Pro 2, as well as ACL Live event streaming, all on the ACL Cornhole TV platform, as well as the ACL Digital Network, and anywhere you listen to podcasts. Now that you're all caught up, let's take a look at what went down in Las Vegas at the ACL kickoff battle. Hello, ACL Nation. It's a Sheila Roy. I'm in New Hampshire. It's 27 degrees out, getting ready to board the flight to Las Vegas for the kickoff battle. So let's go. What's up, Cornhole Nation? I'm ACL Pro Ken Smith Jr. Welcome to day one of the 2022 ACL kickoff battle in Las Vegas, Nevada. People are here in the venue, which looks amazing. And we're ready to get things going. All right, that guy right here, uh, f finding some early competition. We got the young superstar. Little Mr. Gore going heads up, gave up five points, came back, took a five point round, 
Well, now we're sitting at 16-14. This is a nice little battle. We got a bag off the back here by Matt Guy. This game ain't over. All right, 15-16, Matt Guy up one. It was just 16-8. So my man's on a seven point run. Okay, this match, look at the, look at the crowd building. We've got the young Gore brother, heads up Matt Guy, all nodded at 16 right now. With a crowd on deck. We got the crowd on deck. Secondary court's popping off. All right, Matt Guy, taking the lead again. You gotta love to see these early games, super challenging. 16-20, uh, Guy don't get shook. Let's see this game point. Let's see if Gore can hold on, pick up some points. Hell of an effort put up by the young Gore. That guy out victorious. But man, I'll tell you what, these kids have the ability to just mentally stay in these games so long. It's unbelievable, man. This sport is incredible. Each of the past two seasons, Super Bowl has been a one-off event pairing ACL pros with celebrities live on ESPN. This year, we step things up a little bit. This year, we'll have six ACL Super Bowl prelim events pairing four ACL pros with four celebrities all leading up to the Super Bowl Three Championship in August on ESPN 8, the Ocho Day at the 2022 ACL World Championships. All right, a little, uh, a little vlog action here. Uh, tonight's Super Bowl. Okay, we know Super Bowl is going to be at every event. Well, I got my man Terry Kirby here. How you feeling coming into the Super Bowl? I'm feeling good. I'm, I, I got a chance to be here. I could play in the Super Bowl today, tomorrow. So you know what? I'm going to play in the Super Bowl tonight. Hey, you know, you're going to be on ESPN. Now, listen, a lot of a lot of these Super Bowls, like, you got guys that they're having fun. They don't really play. But I think tonight's going to be our most competitive Super Bowl with you uh, going heads up with David Lim, who also one hell of a thrower. But I'm watching you out here. How are you feeling right now going up against some serious competition? I'm feeling pretty good, but I think David, from what I heard, he played in his last year, he did pretty well. And I heard he has a good, they got a good team out in California with Jamal Moore and the SWAT team. So I'm going to find out what they got tonight. Hey, we're going to find out, but you got to watch it tonight. Uh, it's going to be great on ESPN Super Bowl. Mr. Terry Kirby Appreciate going heads up. Mr. David Lim, I'm excited to watch it. Oh, it's going to be exciting. Hey, you never know. You might catch him on a tour next year. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> These bags are live. That, that Smith and Lim decided to go with because I think it really benefits Tony Smith to throw a much slower bag. And I think he just went with the preference on Lim's part. Sorry. That bag is probably out of play. I mean, it's going to be tough to, tough to tell. I mean, He'll think about it, it if, if Streaker makes these next two bags. He'll think about it to try to steal, try, try to get it back to a wash. But well, the, the big question right now, Trey, is at what point do you feel like you need to be that aggressive? Phil, what would you do? Would you go for it? You'd probably go for it. You have to, right? Be aggressive. He did not. No, no he didn't do it. In for two to get on 17. Bagger by the 2021 Women's Doubles World Champion. Well, Phil, one of the things I loved about your interview with Cody Henderson is when you guys started talking about the mental part of the game, and you guys really kind of bonded because obviously poker is a huge mental sport. There's so much strategy in poker. There's so much strategy. I didn't understand in cornhole, but it, it's been uh, it's been really kind of enlightening to watch. And uh, and Cody's just the nicest guy. So I get to go to war with a really good guy. Yeah. Look at that. These guys are. <laughs> this is my competition. They just made three. Wow. Wow. I think I think one thing that's cool that that overlaps both poker and cornhole is ah, my fault, no, yeah. it's game over here, right? If right, yeah, that's, that's that's actually a great point. This is now in for the win on the way oh. and just off to the left. But this bag has got to be in still. Has to be in to stay alive. Hondo just texted me. He said he's got to make this. Nope. Oh. Ah, I missed it. And just drawing off the back of the board. Terry Kirby on a performance wins it for Rosie Streaker. 
So the 10-year NFL veteran and stand-up running back at the University of Virginia can play some cornhole as well. Uh-oh, nobody saw that coming. How you boys feel that? How was that broadcast? Oh, that was fun. That was fun, man. Because yeah, uh, he's airmails on command out there. This game. I don't know about on command. I hit a couple. I got lucky on a couple. But I had a great time, man. It was oh, fun man. playing with my boy Tony Smith. Big Tony Smith right there. Big dub for you, boys. Let's Terry go. Terry Kirby, man, because that dude, that boy don't play around, man. He can throw it. He can throw it. So oh, he's man. the odds on favor. It's a different world, man. Let me tell you something. Football, you got other players on the team. This one is an individual game. And at some point, you got to step up. You got to step up. Well, I don't know what you're doing in Florida, but you better keep it up. You were hitting shots out there. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Man. All right, early predictions here on the vlog. I'm going Helmuth Henderson on this one. I, I'm not sure Chun Lee's ever thrown any cornhole bags. And maybe at least Helmuth threw twice. No. <laughs> Phil almost one. feels like he, him and Chun Lee are like the, the <laughs> other guys that aren't throwing <laughs> 10 bags in a row. They're like, we can do this. We got this. Yeah. See if Chumley is just getting warmed up. Oh, wow. off to the left. At least I'm hitting it now. Last bag here for Phil. Looks good, and it is. Knocks it in. Is that a seven point, uh, seven point round score there for <laughs> Phil Helmuth? Look at that. Four more. 14 <laughs> to one. Here's Chumley right here. That's cashing it in. That's not bad form, Phil. Absolutely, I had a lot of fun doing it, and uh, even though I'm not good, I was good enough to win my... Yeah. I had a few clutch shots there, but this is the man. Phil really lit it up. Like, I, I was impressed. Like, he, he really put the pressure on. He, you know, took advantage of his situations, and, you know, I did one for it on my end, and, you know, now we got one more game. Okay, here it is. It's showtime. How you feeling about this? I mean, I, Cody thinks we're gonna win. Okay. I know that we're like four and a half to one underdogs because they post odds on this stuff. So I just have to keep them alive. All right. There it is. Let's go. Let's keep it rolling. This game right here has the crowd rocking, bro. We are live in the gallery cam. It's gallery cam. What's up, gallery? Hey, hey, hey. We all are the gallery cam right here. The super old gallery cam. Let's go. This is like the, the, this is like the pit down here, bro. Yeah, yeah. One of those treaties that tell me don't stand a chance right now. No, no, no. Nobody keeps it on the board. That's what we want. On the board. Yeah, let's go, chum. Get it on out. Just throw some blocks out there, chum Lee. Well, it's, it's no secret that even on, even when you play professionally, okay. I mean, Aramel. you're one of the biggest advocates of uh, There's no. many different situations. It's better to be in front of the hole than in the hole. Of course. Absolutely. <laughs> totally going for the airmail, and the crowd really wanted him to hit one. <laughs> Lamb knocks wow. in the airmail. I gotta Last get bag this for David. Oh, wow. wow. Hammers it in. Two back to back airmails to clinch it. So David Lamb and Tony Smith, your third place winners here in Las Vegas. Hey, how you feeling after that? Hey, great work on the broadcast. How you feeling, baby? Oh, oh he's, awesome. he's going for air mail. At least you're gonna win your style. I'm trying. You make that hard. I'm trying. All right. <laughs> All right. Helmuth has it. been flirting with it here. I'm dialing in. I'm dialing in. Can he get both these in, Trey? I'm in. Big push. Oh, nice bag. to try an airmail. This Back is a bad side. idea. On the way, and he goes! Oh! What a shot, Terry Kirby! Wow! <laughs> that was a professional shot. How did he hit? He, it was a backside airmail and left. Phil's bag hanging on the front side. <laughs> Phil, Hel oh, Phil Helmuth has to be on the board. <laughs> this one to stay alive, and it is too oh, short. That's a game-winning airmail. Ball game. Wow, fast. what an ending. Terry Kirby and Rosie Streaker, Super Bowl three champions here in Vegas.
I think that Super Hole is probably one of my favorite ACL events. So the fact that we're combining that with Ocho Day this summer at the ACL World Championships makes it that much cooler. Now at the kickoff battle, we had Super Hole, but we also had a little bit of an after party, okay? And this time it was put on by one of our sponsors, Bacardi Spiced Rum. And if there's one thing that we learned from the Super Hole after party, it's that there ain't no party like a Bacardi party. Some of us learned the hard way. <laughs> Moving on to bigger and better things, the ACL kickoff battle happened just before Valentine's Day, so ACL pro Sheila Roy had a burning question to ask the Cornhole community. Who is my Cornhole crush and why? Wow. I'm the vice president of the fan club, still can't get a t-shirt, but that's an easy answer for me, Cheyenne Renner. My Cornhole crush is Tony Smith. He gets me feeling some type of way and uh, I just like it. <laughs> Are you supposed to do <laughs> Gotta be KB. Ooh. That's a tough question. Honestly, it'd be Jamie. The way he plays is just so methodical, man. It's an assassin style play. <laughs> Go with my girlfriend. She plays. <laughs> Sheila Roy. Probably Kaylee Hunter. Kaylee Hunter. Kaylee Hunter. Obviously beautiful, and she's my girlfriend. Like her emeralds are like amazing. And that guy, because he doesn't miss. Josh Hotman is the sexiest man alive. If I didn't say this, I'd be in trouble, but my girlfriend. <laughs> Jimmy Humans. <laughs> because it's Jimmy Humans. Come on. Any of the celebrities, females that come out here. <laughs> I don't know if there's been any of those, but good answer. Noah, because that's my boyfriend and he's great. <laughs> Matt Guy, he's funny, he's good at sliding the bags in the hole. My girlfriend, Marissa Burke. My corner crush is my son. When he wins, I tear up, I cry like a baby. Just as a father, there's nothing better. Sam Finley, because I think she is so awesome. Are we good? Are we live? We are. Okay, listen to me. How do I look? It's Lori Duell. She's my cornhole wife. Who else said that? Mike Harvey. We are playing uh, pro co-ed doubles together. And Ryan Johnson. <laughs> Mine is Lori Duell, because she's my best friend, and she's the freaking best at cornhole. It is absolutely, without a doubt, Lori Duell. That is my bestie, and she is for sure my cornhole crush. I'm light skinned, I'm sensitive, we get jealous. I want to know who else said Lori Duell. I gotta go call him right now, he cannot be hitting on my girl. Do not tell Lori Duell. It's Whitney Martinez. But if Lori asks you, it's Lori. Frank. <laughs> Probably Frank Maudlin, because he's the sweetest man, and I love how good he is at cornhole. I'm gonna get laughed at. It's Whitney Martinez. A Ty Cobb, he just flops everywhere. It's just beautiful. Well, we obviously had a few crowd favorites in the mix, but Trey, who's your cornhole crush? Well, I'm gonna try not to get in too much trouble here, so I gotta go with someone that's got great hair, that's got a great voice, maybe someone that's a good partner, if you will. So I'll say Jeff McCary. Oh. What about you? I, I think that's a better question. Everybody wants to know who is Haley Sheds Cornhole crush. This is a lot of pressure on this answer. You know, it's actually a very easy answer. Oh. Probably not expected, but it's Mike Harvey. Mike Harvey? He uh -oh. gives me the best photos. Mike Harvey, ladies and gentlemen, watch out. Watch you heard out. it here. Creator of the vlog. There, this is going to be too much Mike Harvey in this vlog, I can tell you that right now. No, if you, if you go visit the HQ and just walk around, if you look at these photos behind me, they're behind Trey. You'll find Mike Harvey somewhere in here. He gives me the best photo, so thank you, Mike. <laughs> I don't wanna close my eyes. Now that we've gotten the burning questions out of the way, can we take a moment just to reflect and discuss the sheer massive size of Mandalay Bay? <laughs> like, this place is freaking huge. You have to leave 30 minutes in advance to make your call time. 99% of the time, I was still late, despite 
planning for traffic and accidents along the way down the elevator. And by the time you even make it to the hotel lobby, you have to walk and you walk and you walk and you walk and you walk. And then you finally get to your event space. And by the time you get there, you're out of breath and you're winded and you feel really out of shape. <laughs> well, the good, well for a couple things on that. A couple <laughs> things. First, when, when Haley says she's got to make it for her call time, her call time is 10 a.m., ladies and gentlemen. Okay, 10 a.m., you cannot get Haley out of bed before 9 a.m. And if you try to, she will fight you. And she will probably win. <laughs> now, the good news is, Haley, is that our walk, you talk about the walk at Mandalay Bay, our walk in September isn't going to be that long. We will be on site in Air Mail City for the 2022 ACL Pro Invitational. Now, what is Air Mail City? It is none other than the backyard of Hollywood star Shamar Moore. And this year, he will be hosting our 2022 ACL Pro Invitational right in his backyard, short walk away. Now, throughout the entire season, we will be putting together a documentary series, you know, going over the journey of what it's gonna take to get to that 2022 ACL Pro Invitational, and it is called The Road to Air Mail City. Let's take a look. Cornell is no longer a mere backyard game leisurely played amongst friends. This is a professional sport with its own league. Teaming up with the ACL this season are actors Shamar Moore and David Lim. They've become such cornhole enthusiasts that they've transformed a portion of Shamar's backyard into a cornhole haven, dubbing it Air Mail City. Together they're creating an unprecedented high stakes postseason pro invitational tournament for the top eight finishing male and female pro singles players. A $100,000 prize pool on the line and it's all set to take place in Hollywood at Airmail City. This is the road to Airmail City. This is the Vlog Nation, okay? We're doing the show, Road to Airmail City. So obviously you gotta have your boy David Lim in there hanging out. Trey Birchfield throwing bags right here. You know what I mean? That's how the Road to Airmail City works. That's how the ACL works. You don't know how these tournaments are ever gonna roll out. Next thing you know, you got David Lim hanging out for Super Bowl, then he comes back the next morning and throwing with his homie that he flies out and hangs out with all the time at Air Mail City, out there playing. Trey's their coach, getting some games in now. Day two of the ACL kickoff battle brought us the debut of ACL teams. Plus, we crowned our pro singles, pro doubles, and pro women's doubles champions. Day two kickoff battle, Saturday morning. First, first matchups, team play, new to the ACL. 16 teams, 16 pros per team. Everybody plays each other once. It all comes down to a final, uh, the World Championships in Rock Hill. So that's just another awesome additive here uh, with the ACL. After this, we'll start doubles, 12.30, and see who what team's gonna start off the season hot and letting everybody know it's their <laughs> to lose. So uh, I guess maybe just a quick description of the teams. Like you said, we have team bullies against Woodchucks. The team bully captain, Eric Davis. Yes has his roster of 16 players, and then Renner is the captain of the Woodchucks. Those captains actually fill out, I don't know what we call them, what do we call them those, almost like roster cards, if yep. you will. Yep. They decide who's gonna partner up on their team. So one zero. A lot of hole there. Gushers. Bernie, you think he's going up? He's going up. He's going up. Oh, his money. He wanted to get a little more out of it, but still pretty good shot. Uh oh. Alex Rawls currently the standout player in this one. Low PPRs across the board. I mean, we got nine as a high. Emery at a 7.57, seven, but again, playing that block style game, yeah. you will get lower PPRs, but oh, good hit. Wow. It's hard to believe none of those bags moved. I mean, they are bunched, but. Hits that 11 o'clock quarter moon. Miss from Nice had a chance to push and clean up for four. This would be a bad game. game on the push. Oh, good bag from Parker to seal it up. Wow. All right, we're a few hours here before broadcast. Kickoff battle, singles. Mac guy locked in on him over here, practicing. Not in the best moods. He did just lose uh, in doubles with Jamie Graham, but that's no longer a thought process. My man is like Tom Brady before the Super Bowl right now. He's locked in, bro. Everybody else is hanging out. This kid's over here putting in these bags. All right, so last season, uh, as I got to know players, one of my favorite teams to emerge uh, was Bill Hadley and, Z and Doug Zaff. And um, I loved watching him play. I saw him get on a couple broadcasts, I think Wichita last year. My man, my man Doug's been working. Doug, congratulations. It's you tonight. 
a heads up against Matt Guy in the finals. Everybody pretty much figured Matt was going to make it. You are just marched right on through there. How are you feeling? I mean, what have you been, have you been working your ass off? I mean, practice a little bit more. Nothing too crazy. Just had a really good run yesterday. It felt good all day. Usually on the long days, you kind of have your ups and downs. And I just fell constant all day. You know, fortunate to, to never really lose it. So uh, today is another day. Got to get back to that same zone and see what can happen. Hey, listen. He's, he's definitely beatable. We all know that. He took second several times in the Bacardi Opens. Yeah. And you know what? I think, I think hey, listen, it's, it's a kickoff battle. Yeah, right, you know, we've been talking about sleepers on this road to Airmail City. Well, with that announcement, Airmail City is definitely a little motivation, right? So. Good, it is. Hey, let's hope we're having cocktails with Calabasas. All right, ACL Nation. Best thing about this year's broadcast court, the new floor. Look at that. American Cornhole League, ACL Pro in the middle. Brand new broadcast court. This is the real deal. Part of what comes with the new broadcast floor is the newly added Swiffers. Look at these things in action. Ghostfinger with the Swiffer in action, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit short, so right away is this going to force airmail for Matt Guy? He's yep. going up top and hits it. <laughs> what a way to start. Just just start, the, just cue it up. I mean, this is going to be a pattern that we're going to see throughout the entire game. If you leave a block up on Matt Guy, he is going to go over it unless it is, unless it is hanging in the front of that hole. Third bag now for Guy. Well, it goes on that left side, so couldn't bring his in, but it's... Wow, I thought it was about to drop. Doug touches it, doesn't go. We'll see if Guy can grab it, and he does. Grabs it, pulls them both in, and that will be two points for Matt Guy. Doug Zaff's is less than 1%. Doug Zaff does not ever throw bags off the board. Of course, I'm probably jinxing him by saying that, but that is his style of play. So when you think Matt, Matt Guy, Doug Zaff, the one difference is, yes, they are bag for bag players. They want to slide as many bags in the hole as possible, but Matt Guy is going to take chances with air mails on low percentage shots, and Doug Zaff, for the most part, is going to limit the damage, and he's going to try to keep everything close to the hole and clean up as needed. Opportunity here for Matt Guy. Last bag in his hand, and it is in. And now a lot of pressure here on Doug Zaff just to try and minimize the damage. You can see the round score. Matt Guy sitting on a four-bagger. Last bag. And it checks up on that left side. That's going to be a six-point round for Matt Guy. And now Daft is just somehow able to stay alive here down big. I mean, this has been, what, about five rounds now, right, where he's been right on the edge of elimination? Oh, and that is now out of play for Doug Zaft. And now Matt Guy has a bumper with just a few bags remaining, oh. and that may do it. Matt Guy slides it right up the middle and in, and Zaft's going to have to pull off something big. In for the win. On the way, and Matt Guy knocks it in, and he's going to knock out Doug Zaft for the singles national championship here in Las Vegas. Wow, he finally gets it off, the monkey off of his back, coming into this event to get the big win, and no more second places. All right, we just finished up singles finals. My man Doug Zaft. Put in a hell of an effort, my man. Great work out there. Thank you. You know, it's Matt Guy. He's the best. I have so much respect for him. Uh, I was just trying to extend the game, basically. <laughs> he gave me a couple opportunities I missed. I capitalized on some others, but uh, yeah, he just kind of outgunned me, man. Hey, way to rock this, you know, this whole, this whole operation today. Come in here, let everybody know that you were 49th last year, but it ain't gonna be like that this year. That's right. Let's Anybody's go. Game. Just the start of the season, baby. You know, Doug Zaff, he really hung in there against Matt Guy, the GOAT of the Cornell community. But unfortunately for him, it just wasn't enough. I am rooting for him, though, this season because everybody loves an underdog. Yeah, everybody loves an underdog. And it's great to see Doug Zaff and the ascension that he's made. You know, he's been an ACL pro for years and years, but finally getting his breakout performance here in 2022. It was no surprise that Matt Guy won pro singles. And honestly, it really wasn't that big of a surprise either who took down pro women's doubles.
And on the other side, Lori Duell and Connie Altice. And Connie has, she made a really nice run of the World Championships in Rock Hill last year. And she has just totally used that momentum. She's crushing it so far here in 2022. Well, it's going to turn into an airmail opportunity early. Oh, maybe she said hold off. I don't know. Right away, we got a choo-choo train of cornhole bags on the board. Cassidy says go up. All right, she's going to go for it. Oh, what a <laughs> shot. Really? Three for one on that airmail by Cheyenne Renner. Uh, Altice can still score here with a big push. She cannot. How about that airmail by Cheyenne Renner? Count it. You know, one of the things I like about watching Lori, too, is just, and all the players talk about it, just that repetitive motion, finding something that you can do the same every single time. And that's something I really noticed with Lori so far this season. Yeah, she's very methodical. Yeah, just that comfortable. I mean, even if you even if you look at her landing foot, the way she goes up on her toes every single time is exactly the same. Now, this bag can't be off the board. Watch this left. Again, steps up on the toes and hammers it right in. Uh, interesting here. So Renner and Cassidy have taken a one-point lead, 18-17, and there it finally happens. There. <laughs> yep. I mean, it, I felt like statistically it had to happen. Oh, my word. That was a collect. Oh, and, and now, off the board. Now this is a four-bagger wins it for Cheyenne Renner and Sarah Cassidy. Pushes them both in, and just one bag left in her hand. What a battle it's been for Cheyenne. And I I, I don't know if Altice has the power, but she's going to have to. OK, I see. Oh, and just trying to ride it up, right? If I put it on and she goes in, that's five, right? And now Cheyenne trying to double check the score here. The thing where you can, let's think of a creative solution. I was going to say. All right, now Altice has to push that bag all the, well, no, she's got, I don't know, she can't do anything. <laughs> I yeah. was trying to do math that was not possible. What a come from behind win for Cheyenne Renner and Sarah Cassidy down so many times in this match. You can see the frustration on Cheyenne's fa uh, face for most of it. And wow, just sticking with it, coming back, and they are your doubles national champions. Like I said before, no one was really surprised to see Cheyenne Renner and Sarah Cassidy take down yet another pro women's doubles national event. They appear to be on another war path this year in pro women's doubles, so we'll look forward to see what type of year they can put together. You know, I absolutely agree, but I do have one very important question. When you look at the pro doubles finals, where were Graham and Guy? Where was Renner and Baldwin? Where was Hisner and Henderson? Like, where were these top names? I don't think I was the only person who was surprised by Trzinski and Hogue and Johnson and Malone ending up in the Pro Doubles Finals. It can't just be me. Yeah, not a big, I mean, it was a big surprise for a lot of people. I mean, those two really came out of nowhere. You had these big guns. Malone has the history of being a doubles elite player, and he shows it yet again. All right, fellas. Yo, it's, it's go time, boys. Let's go, bro. How we doing? How we feeling? You guys ready to rock and roll? Feel good. Feel good. All right, about to hit this broadcast. I hope we Jacob and I win doubles. Oh, let's go. And again, intentional, right in front of the hole. <laughs> I think Jacob Trzinski was like, you want to move that board a little bit? Uh, I promise you those pucks that they got on there, those red pucks you see right under the board there and there. Yeah, those things, that, that board ain't moving, Jacob. <laughs> it's been the same thing the whole game, I promise you. <laughs> uh, Malone able to push one of his in, but then you can see it kind of deflects off to that top side of the board. So both of them here with a the bag out of play as Malone puts it in. Oh, interesting. This Off is to the left. Can Malone sneak it in? Yeah, that's what he's going to try to do is a cut. Don't touch that corner of the bag. 
and just gets it in there. What a perfect shot for Kyle Malone, and that's going to tie the game at 12. That was perfection. Don't touch that corner, and you see he just, just snuck by it. Malone kind of slides in right there on that front side. A little chess match now all of a sudden going on. Yeah. See if. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. Gracious. Airmail. However, if you saw Trzinski's bag, it did nudge a little bit further into the hole. Trzinski, now will he go up for an airmail drag? Risk versus reward. We've been talking about it. And he knocks two in, and now Kyle Malone can go in for a win in a national doubles title, his third. Slide around for the win. On the way, and he just can't quite spin it in. Just hangs up. But they are going to get within a point now at the championship at 20 to 14. Watch this, he's got it just, oh, it just skips over. Well, it should be okay for Cody, still close to the hole. Oh, interesting as Hope checks it up. Oh, Cody again, just hammers I, it right in. I didn't even have time to look to the other side of the board again. And goes in behind Storm Hope to kind of block him a little bit. Storm trying to strong push, able to go two for one. Cody's in. Again. Got to be in. Hope to stay alive, and he can't get it. Misses off to the left. Kyle Malone, now a three-time national winner as he and Cody Johnson pull off the victory here in Vegas. Wow. Well, that is it for episode one of season two of Behind the Bags. This has been your host, Trey Ryder, and the wonderful, beautiful new ACL analyst, Haley Shedd in the house. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for episode two, headed out to the 2022 ACL Cornhole Mania in Atlantic City.